and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be carrying on our new player's crafting series between level 5 and 10. Now, this is going to be a very short segment because it's a very simple process. All we're going to do to help us push towards level 10 is we're going to keep making items on our crafting log. So, the goal, as in the end of the previous episode, is to make one of every single item and to get the first time bonuses up until you hit level 10. Now, in the case of Weaver, um, even getting the 1 to 5 crafting log done will get you towards level 10 anyway, because the amount of recipes is insane. But for the rest of your crafts, it should push you towards level 10 nicely. And as well, given that it's another day, we will be doing another turn-in for the leave allowances. So we have another eight allowances that we can turn in. Make sure you make one of each of these items. And again, to access that menu, go to duty, timers, or control U on your keyboard if you're on PC. And then click on next mission allowance, and you get a list of all the items we want to turn in. So we want to turn in one of these items, each of these items, to the Grand Company to boost our experience. Now, the rotation slightly changes going into the above level 7. So at level 7, we get an ability called Master's Mend, which it says restores item durability by 30. So let me show you how I use that. So every time you use an ability, whether it's Synthesis or Touch, you lose 10 durability. So let's do, we're going to do 3 touches now. So you see there I've got 30 durability, 20 durability, 10 durability, and that's it. So if I hit another touch, it will go to 0 and it will blow up. But at this point I should hit Synthesis. However, Master's Mend allows you to restore 30 durability for the cost of 92 CP. So I'm going to hit that now. So you can see again, I've got again 40 durability. So I have enough CP to hit touch again. And that's it. So it bought me an extra move. If I had more CP, I could hit touch a couple more times. But I've run out of CP, so now I'll just press synthesis. But this should get you used to the idea of extending crafts rather than just letting the durability run out. You don't have to finish the craft once you've run out of dur durability. In crafting, in Final Fantasy XIV, you can continue by re constantly restoring your durability. And later on, when we get to more advanced techniques towards the end game, this can be done more than once when we have a ton of CP and ways of restoring CP. But for now, this is a very basic thing to get you used to the idea of it. So this is why it's an ability introduced to you at level um, 7. So what I'm currently making right now is I'm, I'm keeping, I'm still making some hampen yarns here on uh, Weaver. So again, you see here I'm doing three touches, Master's Mend, another touch, and then Synthesis. Okay, so again, going down the crafting log, I need to make these hampen shepherd slops so we need two undyed hampen cloths so let's make that now now the the thing about this is is that a lot of this equipment you won't need it you know you, it won't be any use to you on any of your classes but it's always worth checking on the market board if you could sell them and see if you can make a profit if they're not if there isn't any profit in it then just vendor them but if there is a profit then you can make some money because we can see since yesterday i've made quite a lot of money since yesterday and um, what you can do as well is while you're leveling up your crafting, you will notice as well, the more crafts you do, that your gear that you're wearing while crafting starts to spirit bond. So when you get it to spirit bond 100%, which I'll show you in a minute, you can convert it into materia. And this is the way we made our gill to begin with uh, as a new character. So you should be, at this point, used to the idea of spirit bonding. But if you don't know what spirit bonding is, you can see here, if you look at the uh, description of the item, it says, um, Hapen uh, Kurta, you go down, it says all classes level 1, mud green, dye, craftsmanship plus 18. But then below that, you have condition. 107%, Spirit Bond 100%, that's what we're interested in. When it's Spirit Bond 100%, you should be given the option, if you've completed the quest, to 
um, convert it into materia. So because this is Pyrobon 100, we can right click, we can convert into materia. Now do I, before you do that though, make sure you have something to replace it. So I happen to have a spare one of these, so I can, I can convert this one. Yes. Done. And from that I got a Craftsman's Cunning Materia 1, which I can sell on the market board. And I'll just wear again another chess piece that I got prepared in advance. So it's a good idea if you can replace gear to when it reaches Spirit Bond 100 to convert it, replace it, and let the material build up and just sell the material. So that's a way to make money while you're crafting. So if we keep uh, working towards these slops, so we need one lever and one animal sinew. And again, like I said, the guild suppliers in the towns will cater for the first 10 levels. So I'll show you in the next episode what to do when you're pushing 10 to 15 and you need to get other materials which might not necessarily be available. So, okay, we're going to synthesize. And again, so we... I personally start with synthesis first. Make sure I'm within one move of finishing and then I work on quality. So again, let's now do touches. Uh, okay. Now I'll hit Master's Mend. So as long as you have... Uh, let 30 durability lost then you can hit master's mend any time even to get back to 60 if you wish you don't have to wait until it's less okay and then let's synthesize cool so now we are level nine and what is interesting at level nine is that we get an ability now called steady hand and this is a very important ability at level 9. And all classes get this at level 9 as well. So all classes get Master's Mend at level 7. All classes get Steady Hand at level 9. And it says, improves action success rate by 20% for the next 5 steps. So when you look at the other abilities, like Basic Touch, it says efficiency 100%, success rate 70, which means it only will succeed 70% of the time. When you use Steady Hand before it, it means it will increase it by 20%. So rather than it being a 70% success rate, it will be a 90% success rate for five moves. So that's why Steady Hand is very important. And our basic synthesis is 90%. Um, steady Hand will effectively increase it to 110%, but basically it caps at 100. So then hopefully now our basic touches will not blow up anywhere near as often. So let's make again free hemp and cloth, and I'll show you this in action. So it's emphasize, we're going to do steady hand first, and then we're going to hit basic touch three times. And the thing is though, remember that 90% is not 100. 90% can still fail, but hopefully at a much lesser rate. So we don't have enough CP to do another touch, so whatever, let's just do synthesize. And this is something to look out for as well, is that it's a good idea to have to level Weaver and Goldsmith first because with Goldsmith you can start then getting into the realm of making CP gear. So let's see here. Level 9 as a Goldsmith can make uh, this 15 CP necklace. So I might do that now actually. So let's um, let's switch to Goldsmith. Right, have we got can we make two copper ingots? No. Nope. So I'm going to quickly run to the goldsmith guild. And this is why it's important to keep your gear up to date. Because the more CP you have, the better it will be. And obviously level 9 is when we start to increase our CP gains from gear. And I'll show you the effect of that. So we're now at the goldsmith guild. We're going to make a copper necklace. So we need three copper ores and a hard lever. Let's, let's make that now. So three copper ores, hard lever. Cool. So now let's make our... Let's see if we want... I remember a crafter is interested in CP, craftsmanship and control. A gatherer is interested in gathering perception and GP. 
So it's important to distinguish that as a crafter, you shouldn't. There's no need to wear gathering or perception or GP gear because it will not give you any benefit at all. Therefore, gathering classes. The gathering classes are miner, botanist, and fisher. So do, please do not get those confused as a new player. Cool. So we're still not level seven yet, so we don't have masters men. So let's just finish. Next. So this segment will obviously not be anywhere near as long as the other segment because we've already got introduced to the concept of this and we're mostly counting on the same as what we were doing to get towards level 10. So it's just going to be a case of make one of each item on the list until we're at level 10. Make the items turn in for the grand company. If after you finished the 6 to 10 recipe and you made one of every item, if somehow you still haven't hit level 10, then just keep crafting random items until you do. That's what I recommend. So anyway, let's hear Copper Choker, Synthesize. So we're just going to do Synthesis for now because I don't know if we have enough skill to finish quickly. 18, 27, 36, 42. Good. So now we're level 6 as a goldsmith. So if I go back quickly to Weaver, and I can now equip this neck piece that we've just made. So let's see here, Copper Choker. We've now increased our CP by 15. So now we have 195 CP rather than what we had before, which was 180. So I'm going to make two more of these hemp and cloth. Let's do that now. So we'll do a steady hand and then three basic touches. Cool. Then Master's Mend. And then again, we can do another basic touch. So basically, we have gained enough CP so that we can throw in Steady Hand into the rotation without losing the number of touches that we're doing. Okay, so how many do I need to make to make this bandana? One more un undyed happen cloth. So let's do that now. So again, Steady Hand to increase our success rate of basic touch. Three basic touches. Okay, Master's Mend, and it's like I said, even if you have Steady Hand, it's not a guarantee that Basic Talk will actually succeed. Okay, and then Basic Synthesis. Okay, so now let's make the next item. The Hampen Bandana. Synthesize. So, for now, let's see, we're going to start with the Synthesis. Okay, so two synthesis is enough to finish. So I'm going to now do steady hand, basic touch, like basic touch, and I've got 30 durability lost, let's say, so I can hit Master's Men now. I don't have to wait until later. And then, again, I'm going to do basic touches again. Okay, so now my CP is all gone. So now I'll just finish off the craft with the synthesis. And we had 40 durability left, so it doesn't matter if the Synthesize blows up a couple of times. And there we go. So we've now made a Hampen Bandana. So like I said, I'm going to keep doing this until I'm level 10 with all crafts. And once we get to level 10 in all crafts, we'll go back to the, to the different guilds and complete the level 10 quest. And then in the next episode, we will cover what to do from levels 10 to 15. If you have any suggestions, any feedback about this crafting series so far, let me know. If you're doing it side by side with me, then also let me know. Happy to help out with any advice. But like I said, the game introduces you to these concepts, these abilities really, really slowly. But it's a good idea to get used to using these abilities and when to use them as you go along. Just so that you, these are not... The concept of these abilities does not shock you later, let's say. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Good luck towards getting all your crafts to level 10. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.